Hello, friends. It's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kid Short Stories. Before we hop over to our story, I need to make sure that you are following our Instagram page for Kids Short Stories because that is where I like to hang out and go live with you. Well, today's story comes to us from Naomi and Tessa. Hey guys, they sent me an awesome idea for a story and you can too. Just head over to kidshortstories.com, send me your idea and maybe we'll turn it into an awesome adventure. Are you guys ready for today's amazing adventure? Me too, let's go. Today was a very special day for Naomi and Tessa because it was their grandma's birthday and they needed to go to the store to go pick out a huge bouquet of flowers. Hey, Tessa, are you ready to go? Do you have your shoes and stuff? Said Naomi. Yep, I got it all. Let's grab our bikes and head out. Naomi and Tessa lived very close to a store where they could just ride their bike to, which that is super cool. I wish I could ride my bike to the store like that. As they walked in the store and headed right over to the flower department, it was completely sold out and empty. Tessa, how could all the flowers be gone? Said Naomi. I don't know, but we got to talk to somebody, said Tessa, as she started to look around for someone that worked there that she could ask for help. Oh, there's somebody. Hi, we need some flowers. It's my grandma's birthday, and we really need to get her flowers. The lady looked at the two girls and sadly shook her head and said, Oh, I'm so sorry, but all the flowers are gone. There's some kind of shortage in the world's supply of flowers, and we haven't had flowers for days, and we don't have any coming. Maybe try another store, she said. Naomi and Tessa looked at each other and decided to go to another store. But unfortunately, that one was also sold out of flowers. Oh, it's okay, Naomi. Why don't we just go home and we can probably pick our own flowers and make our own bouquet. Grandma likes that better, said Tessa. The two girls rode back to their house and started to look around, but there weren't any flowers anywhere. What in the world? We usually have at least like dandelions or... Lilies are something around here. Where did all the flowers go? Said Tessa. Naomi grabbed her chin with her hand and thought for a second. Hmm. I don't know. This might be a little extreme, but maybe we should let HQ know and see if they've heard anything about it. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good idea. Let's go, said Tessa. Naomi and Tessa raced back up to their room to grab their walkie-talkies to call into HQ. HQ... This is Tessa and Naomi. Are you there? Over. Hey, Naomi and Tessa. What's going on? Well, uh, we have a strange request of information. We're looking for flowers for our grandma's birthday, and they're all gone everywhere, at least by us. Have you guys heard anything about flowers disappearing around the world? Are you serious? Yes. You're the fourth person to call in missing flowers today. Something must be going on. Shh. Are you serious? Said Naomi. Is there anything like we should do to look into this? Shh. Yes, we will. Uh, we'll start looking into it, but we need you to look for clues as well. Over and out. Shh. You heard him, said Naomi. We got to get started. We have to find flowers for Grandma. If Dr. Sinky Breath is behind all this, said Tessa, and destroyed the flowers, Grandma is going to get a little bit spicy. You see, their Grandma was once on the spy team and has stopped Dr. Sinky Breath on countless missions. But if he starts messing with flowers, Granny is not going to be happy. Naomi and Tessa raced outside to check for clues. There was once a huge rose bush in their backyard that had so many flowers on it, and all of them were gone. It was very strange. And look at this. Naomi, come over here. Look at this. Tessa had found footprints right by their flower bush. Do you think they should follow those footprints? Uh, definitely. As they followed those footprints into the forest... They didn't know where they were going to lead. 
These prints were very small, sm way smaller than their feet, almost like the size of a cat's foot, but it looked different. It wasn't a cat footprint, but it was very close. As Naomi and Tessa walked deeper and deeper into the forest, they couldn't believe that every single flower was gone. Naomi, this forest used to be full of flowers. How would they just all disappear? Why in the world would he do that? Just up ahead, they heard a sound. All right, guys. It uh, looks like we're uh, the mission's almost done. The boss is going to be so happy to finally get rid of all this nice-smelling flowers. Uh, where's our skunk friend at? Um, well, the skunk, he was just right here. Uh, uh, but I don't see him anymore. Ah, uh, you lost the skunk? He's the most important part. Once we get rid of all this nice-smelling flowers, then the world will be full of skunk smell after he tells all of his friends to spray all their skunk smell everywhere. It's a perfect plan, but it has to be followed precisely. Come on! Naomi and Tessa looked right at each other. Wait a second. This is actually real. The purple ninjas are right over there. They've gotten rid of all the flowers. I guess it's about... Dr. Stinky Breath making the world stinky again. How are we going to stop him? Said Naomi. Tessa thought for a second and said, Wait a second. They're looking for that skunk. They must need him. I wonder if maybe we can find the skunk first. Because if they don't have their skunks, then they can't make the world stinky. Said Tessa. Come on, we got to start looking. Or I guess start smelling. Naomi and Tessa started wandering around the forest. <laughs> looking and smelling for a skunk. Do you know what a skunk smells like? <laughs> Do you think you could find one in a forest? Well, they're pretty hard to find, and they're not very friendly, so you don't want to go buy them, and you definitely wanna, don't want to go buy them because they might spray you with their stinky skunk smell. <gasps> I hope Naomi and Tessa don't get sprayed. <laughs> Tessa, I, sm I think he's over here, said Naomi. And sure enough, there was the skunk. He had a leash around his neck. It's like he was a pet of the purple ninjas. We've got to let him free, said Tessa. They carefully walked over to the skunk to not scare or frighten him and gently removed the leash off of the skunk. And off the skunk ran. He's free. Wait a second. Did you just take that off the skunk? Hey, come back here, said the purple ninjas. Run, Tessa, run, said Naomi. The two girls started running as fast as they could. They were way faster than Purple Ninjas because they do not run very fast. Oh, no. If we don't have a skunk, the boss's plan is ruined. Ah, Purple Ninjas, report back to base. This one's not going to end well. Naomi and Tessa ran back as fast as they could right to their grandma's house. They knocked on the door and said, Happy birthday, Grandma! They both shouted instantly. Oh, wow! Thank you so much! Thanks for coming over! Their granny said. Well, we have some sad news. We were going to bring you flowers, but sadly, all the world's flowers have been taken away by Dr. Stinky Breath. Dr. Stinky Breath? Said Granny. Oh, I thought I got rid of him a long time ago, and he's still oh, he's still uh, trying to get rid of all the beautiful smelling things. Well, don't you girls worry. Come on in. I have something I want to show you, said Granny. The two girls came inside and discovered that their grandma had been collecting over the past years so many flower seeds of every single flower in the entire world. That means once they plant them, the flowers will be saved. Great job, girls. I'm so glad that you and your granny are able to save our flowers. And us all from a very stinky world. The end. Great job. You listened all the way to the end. And you know what time it is. It's time for Kid. Shout outs. I want to say hey to Francisca and Theodore from Denver, Colorado. Lee from New York. 
Vivian from Mumbai, India, Eddie from Boston, Mark from Spain, Emma and in Indy from Indiana, Sujin from Florida, and Henry and Walter from Minnesota. I'm so glad that you're all in the Kid Short Stories family and on our spy team. We could not stop. Dr. Stinky Breath and his crew, without you, my friends, well, you have a super duper day, and I will see you on our next adventure. Bye!